Talk to who? Well, just tell me what your name is. My name is Fountain Hughes. I was born in Charlottesville, Virginia. My grandfather belonged to Thomas Jefferson. My grandfather was 115 years old when he died. And now I am 101 years old. That's enough. Who did you work for, Uncle Fountain? When... Who did I work for? Yeah. But I, you mean when I was a slave? Yeah, when you were a slave, who did you work for? Well, I belonged to um, um, uh, Burnley's when I was a slave. My mother belonged to Burnley's. Uh, but uh, we uh, was all slave children. And soon after, when we found out that we were free, well, then we were uh, bound out to different people, Thicken, and and Andrew, and all such people as that. And we would run away and wouldn't stay with them. Well, then we'd just go and stay anywhere we could, and lay over at night and anywhere. We had no home, you know. We just turned out like a lot of cattle. You know how to turn the cattle out in the pasture? Well, after freedom, you know, colored people didn't have nothing. Colored people didn't have no beds when they were slaves. You know, to slept on the floor. Had it here, had it there. Just like a lot of uh, wild people, we didn't, we didn't know nothing. We didn't like to look at no book. And there were some freeborn colored people where they had a little education, but there were very few of them where we was. And we all had a, what you call, I might call it now, uh, jail sentence. We just same as we were in jail. Now I couldn't go from here across the street or I couldn't go to nobody's house without I have a note or something from my master. And if I had that pass, I would really call a pass. If I had that pass, I could go wherever he sent me and I'd have to be back. You know, when I, whoever he sent me to, they, they'd give me another pass. And I'd bring that back so as to show how long I'd been gone. We couldn't go out and stay an hour or two hours or something like that. They send you, now say for instance, I'd go out to Shirley's place, I'd have to walk. And I'd have to be back maybe in an hour, maybe they'd give me an hour, I don't know just how long they'd give me. But they'd give me a note so there wouldn't nobody interfere with me to tell who I belonged to. And when I come back, why well, I'd carry it to my master and give that to him, that'd be all right. But I couldn't just walk away like the people does now, you know. It was what they call, we were slaves. We belonged to people. They sell us like they sell horses and cows and hogs and all like that, have them 